Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back into the channel for, I know, I know, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know it doesn't make sense. I know you guys can see the title. I know you already see the title of the video. So let me explain because it will all make sense. But <laughs> guys, seriously, welcome back into the channel. If you are new here, welcome in. Maybe you're coming in to see a preview look at Alan Wake 2. So if you're new here, this might not make sense. But if you're not new here, then you know Y'all haven't even seen my Alan Wake 1 playthrough yet. And if you've been watching my Final Fantasy 16 videos, you know I teased that my playthrough of Alan Wake 1 is coming at you guys real soon, as in next week. And so with that, I have actually completed Alan Wake 1. It's been recorded and ready to share with you guys for a while now. I've just been waiting to get through Final Fantasy 16. But with that, I had the incredible opportunity of getting to go out to LA and preview Alan Wake 2. I still cannot believe that this is real. I'm freaking out. And so before we get into it, and if you're new here or not new here, I just want to say a big thank you for just being here and creating this community and enabling me to do things like this because I would not have these opportunities without you guys. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Um, so yeah, just before we dive in, I've completed Alan Wake 1. You guys haven't seen it. Y'all will get to see it next week. But in the meantime, I wanted to bring you guys for anybody who has completed Alan Wake 1 and maybe wants an early look at some of it. I wanted to bring that to you guys. So let me explain what y'all are gonna see in this video. All right, so today, you guys, it is my absolute honor to bring you early footage of our new protagonist, Saga Anderson. So I did get the opportunity to play through some of Alan Wake's story and hers, but I wanted to focus on bringing you guys something new. Um, as incredible as Alan Wake is as a protagonist, I'm actually really excited to see it from a different perspective. You guys know I'm all about looking at things from another point of view, from another person's situation, perspective. And so I was so excited when I watched the trailer and I got to actually get my hands on some of this footage and play through as Saga. So she is an FBI agent and we are going to be picking up a little bit in her story. So this is a later mission. So spoilers, get out of here if you don't want spoilers. I know, I know I'm kicking you guys out, but seriously, um, be aware that these are going to be hard spoilers to the story. That in mind, I'm not going to be showing you guys so many details like manuscripts, clicking on a lot of things or interacting with a whole lot of it. I really just want you guys to kind of see a little bit of a streamlined story from her chapter, I guess, or from this specific chapter, which is the Watery chapter. So we're going to be starting in the town of Watery. I'm going to be interacting with some of those characters, finding out how to get to this thing, the trailer park. But we can't get to the trailer park until we get our key from Coffee World, an amusement park dedicated and centered around coffee. Dreams really do come true. <laughs> so guys, I hope y'all enjoy this preview at Saga Anderson's story. Thank you. 
flooding is even worse here. More like underwatery. I'll have to tell Casey that one later. Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You've seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. Ilmo Koskela owns it. Owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Hey, Saga! Over here! Hey, I'm looking for Ilmo Koskela, owner of the trailer park. Then you're in luck. Introducing the brothers who need no introduction, the Koskelas. Ilmo voted Businessman of the Year by the Bright Falls Herald and Yako. A stay-at-home dad. I'm proud of that. Ah, I miss that Anderson sense of humor. It's great to see you again, Saga. Yeah, super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it. Hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Life's laughter and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. <laughs> you mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'd get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded, but if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there.
What was that? Hello? Anyone here? Nope. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Or were they turned into Taken? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. list of maintenance work. Should get that gift shop open.
Welcome back in, guys. How was it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Do you want to get your hands on it right away? Because I know I do. Look, I am just as eager as maybe you guys are, if not more, um, just because I did just recently play Alan Wake. So I do want to say I have not had to wait like at all. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting 12, 13 years. I think it's been since the first one. Um, I cannot even relate to how long you guys have been waiting for this. But I can tell you that I feel like sometimes the wait is worth it. And in this case for Remedy, I really believe that all of this time enabled them to put their heart and soul into the creation of this. And I hope you guys felt like that came through in this small little clip or just several clips of gameplay. I feel like the combat has insanely improved. I know for me, without doing too many spoilers of my perspective or like situation and enjoyment of Alan Wake 1, I just wasn't a big fan of the combat. It felt like early 2000s combat, but I feel like they've really elevated that. And it feels a lot more like RE where you're staggering enemies, which was in the first one a little bit, but I just feel like all of it is a lot smoother. I will say it feels harder. Like it took a lot of bullets. Did you guys see how many bullets? And I'm not talking about the balloons. I know, I don't know what was with me, but when I was at the event, I just really wanted to shoot all the balloons with a smiley face. It was this like, I don't, I can't explain it. Don't ask me to, if you just saw it and you were like, why is she shooting on the balloons? Now you know, there's no method to my madness. That's just me. <laughs> Um, other than that, we also got to see some really cool characters. We got to see, while I didn't give you guys an in-depth look at the mind place, which is where our character goes, Alan Wake actually has his own version called the writer's room that will assist him as well. And definitely go check out some other videos. I know there's a lot of other people that were at the event as well that are covering and showing some early access of his side of things. Um, but yeah, hers is the mind map. And so with that, that's where we're gonna access our radio, our upgrades, our map, uh, the television, and also our case files. So we're gonna get to access those case files as we're going along. We don't have to go back to like a safe room or anything, although there is a actual like, I guess the place inside of the bar is kind of like a safe room if you think about it because we saw the deer, we saw the puddle. That puddle is actually how you're gonna transport between Alan Wake and her story, but we weren't able to do that during the preview. So I didn't really show that or a lot of the mind map because I wanted to avoid even more spoilers for you guys. But with that, I love the addition of the mind map. I love being able to click and see all of her like insights, you know, when she had the people beside her, that was so unique and really cool. And outside of that, I think the atmosphere has definitely gotten spookier. And trust me on that, when you see Alan Wake side of things, it has gotten darker and spookier and better. You know, it's a perfect October game. So yeah, other than that, I'm just really loving the town the detail that they've put into this i didn't look at it a lot and you guys don't get to hear me ooing and awing over all of the i don't know wood paneling and individual little things that we see but i do feel like everything they've put in there is intentional and the puzzles you guys didn't get to see the puzzles but the puzzles are actually difficult so i look forward to hearing y'all's thoughts on it please comment down below what your favorite part was if you're gonna get it if you're enjoying it if you're excited to play saga's story but yeah other than that i will see you guys in october when we actually get our hands on this and we're gonna be as thorough as possible because that's just how our playthroughs are here all right, with that, guys, thank you so much for watching this. And if you're new here, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. And just one more time, a huge thank you to Remedy and to you guys for making this happen. All right, bye, y'all.